Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, welcoming Josh and Skyler, who are here talking about their incredible new film, House Not Home, as well as here supporting Scenarios USA, a wonderful nonprofit organization, with their gala in New York tonight. Check out a great interview. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. All right, Josh and Skyler. So I got to tell you, watch your movie. Pretty cool stuff. Thank, um, you. Thank you. Such an important topic to be talking about right now. I think that's the, the first place to start because, you know, just seeing your shirt, this is exactly what is one of the hot topics happening right now. So mm -hmm. talk to me. Obviously, you wrote the movie. You made it. So how did this collaboration come about and what spurred you to actually write this movie? Okay, so um, I wrote the movie, well, I originally wrote the short story as part of Scenarios USA Writing Contest, and um, how I chose the topic was, it was more because um, I was struggling with my own identity, being a trans man, and I had to, I was researching a lot about um, trans issues and trying to figure out a way to explain it, a way to come out to my classmates and to my family, and this kind of, my, the movie's kind of what came from it. It was a lot about, like, the struggles that trans people go through that I had heard about, um, found out about, that my friends have gone through, and kind of what I was afraid of going through. And so I wanted to write it to partly to uh, raise awareness and partly to give um, trans people a character to look up to and to see themselves in. So that's kind of where it all came from. How do you get involved, Josh? Um, well, Scenarios USA, the organization that uh, Skylar mentioned, um, they they recruit uh, youth voices. Um, uh, they've been doing it since 1999. They've made uh, almost 30 films, actually, from all of which were written by high school age students. And so um, Skylar was part of a, a national contest where they submit stories and uh, a panel basically picks the winning stories and then pairs. Um, there's three films made every two years. Um, all in the range of like 10 to 15 minutes, and then they basically um, pair the winning writers with so-called Hollywood directors. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they, they, they use that term, I would say. You know, filmmaker, you know, somebody who can, uh, who's had experience directing stuff. Uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of what qualifies you. So I, I, was, I was deemed qualified uh, by these fine people. And so- That was uh, the most humble, awesome response. Oh, well, no. <laughs> I was feel weird, like, the Hollywood filmmaker is paired with youth students. Yeah, and you know, it's like, you know, it's just, it's, it's a collaboration that, 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 was, uh, that was great. Because effectively, um, Skylar and I talked on the phone for, for a couple months and we really just worked through, you know, the story and tried to make it something we could shoot in, in a period of two days. And, and uh, I got to see uh, uh, Skylar's, we did sort of location scout, like mm -hmm. I came by about two months before we, about two months before we shot the film and I saw, because Skylar got inspired by all the uh, locations um, in, in his neighborhood in terms of the, uh, I, it was that park that, uh, mm -hmm. that Harmony featured, Park. Harmony yeah. Park, thank you. Yeah, that's featured in the film. And, and we actually shot in Skylar's high school and used um, the principal and um, Skylar's teacher actually makes, a, makes an appearance. Uh, so we, we kind of, we basically, you know, where the story was created, we tried to capture that on film and retain the authenticity of Skylar's amazing script, so. When you're going through this type of process right now, Skylar, you know, it's it's got to be just so daunting and challenging. Talk to me about the journey that you've gone through. It's been really tough just going from, you know, having hour and a half long phone conversations just because, you know, I, I was finally happy with the script that I did. And then they're just like, well, yeah, actually. And I'm stuck <laughs> on the phone for an hour and a half listening to everything that I did wrong. Like, I've well, got we homework this. to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, I've got algebra you know, to kick into right now. <laughs> But, but that's a perfect Hollywood experience, though. Yeah, your script is well, great. Now, here's, yeah, welcome to the here's, 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 welcome uh, to the business. <laughs> two months of notes. Yeah, yeah welcome to yeah. the business. <laughs> but yeah, through going through all that and having to write and rewrite and rewrite, and it was a be it was a wonderful experience. I learned a lot, and it's not like you know it was completely like they weren't rude about it. It was good, but it was it was definitely not something that I was used to. I was used to you know just turning in a paper and being done with it, and you know whatever I got, I got. So that was something, and then. Um, once the film kind of kicked off and I started being able to go to different places that was shown, like the Cleveland International Film Festival, um, different schools, different organizations that I showed it to, 
and having to talk in front of all these different groups of people and um, learning how to answer some really tough questions, it was all a really good experience. And I think that I've grown a lot through the, through the year that I've been um, showing my film, being able to um, learn more about being able to talk to people, learning things like that have helped me a lot. How about the personal struggle? You're going through a, a situation that not everybody deals with, and you're trying to figure out how do I want to move forward with my life? What was that like? Um, God, okay. Um, it's been, it's been tough. Um, trying, as, especially when it came to my identity, I'm just going to talk about it again. But, um, I had, I'd written the film before coming out and it was probably the first time that I had brought it up to someone outside of my close friend group where in my cover letter I'd explained that it was personal experience I was going off of um, and talking about my identity and um, trying after I came out like still it's kind of hard to open up and you know every time that I show my film I have to say like you know I am a trans man this is what I went through it's it's kind of difficult honestly trying to be that open with all these different strangers whenever I had had so much trouble even telling my parents and even telling the people I saw every day. Um, I, I don't know what else to talk about with that. I'm sorry. So for you, Josh, this is very different from directing The Vampire Diaries. So <laughs> when, when you're getting involved with something like this and you're getting behind the camera, is there extra meaning for you because it is such an important hot topic? Uh, yeah, actually, it's it's really a. I mean, the storytelling is is the same in terms of whatever you tackle as as a filmmaker. But yes, I mean, I I, I absolutely responded to to Skylar's story because Skylar uh, had such a, an authenticity to to the voice and the honesty about um, not only Skylar's personal experience but what what trans teenagers are going through in the United States right now. Um, I, I always tell the story because I think it's very, very powerful. About a month after we shot the film, um, a trans teen, um, Leela Alcorn, um, killed, killed herself uh, and left this amazingly eloquent suicide note on, on Tumblr. Uh, her parents never accepted her as, as a trans female. Basically, they, uh, they insisted on calling her, coincidentally, uh, Joshua because that was uh, her birth name and um, basically um, once th the film was made I realized that Skylar had given voice to so many people that we never actually hear from and meet throughout this country who um, are coming of age and basically trying to find their way in the world and that's I mean that's what we all do you know and that's what I, why I think the story is very universal but this very you know, specific struggle that, that Skylar um, so beautifully captured in, in, in the film. It just, yes, it, it, as, a, as a director, it really is the highlight of my, my, my career so far because it, it does feel like I, I was able to um, use my skills to, to hopefully help Skylar's um, message reach, reach as many people as possible. So. You've mentioned Scenarios USA. For those, and there's the actually gallery, that's why you're in New York tonight. Yes, so. tonight, yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Scenarios Yay. USA. <laughs> but tell me about a great nonprofit organization. What do they do? So um, Josh explained a lot better. So Scenarios USA is a nonprofit that um, they, um, well, first of all, they do curriculum in schools. They take um, the the results from the writing contest, and once they're made into films, they are they make a curriculum around it and around the different issues that are um, handled as well as some other things for teens to think about. Um, like, I know that um, for the three films that I was, well, not the three films I was a part of, but the film that I was a part of, and then um, the other two that were, that happened in the same year, not only were we talking about, you know, LGBT issues and um, issues with gun violence that were, um, since my film was about trans issues, the, another film was about um, a lesbian relationship and another one was a lot of different things, but um, gun violence was a big part of it. Um, we not only talked about those three things, we also talked about um, compassion, being a good ally, um, healthy versus abusive relationships, a lot of other really important things that aren't always talked about in school and aren't always given um, the time that they need. So Scenarios um, is really, really good with the curriculum. Um, it helps teens learn a lot through the films and 
Um, they work, like I said, like he said, they work really closely with um, the teens who win, and we get the experience of being able to be on a set to uh, be able to write a screenplay and a lot of other um, skills. Um, I got a lot of training with public speaking um, whenever we were preparing for the gala and other things like that. So. They and do a lot. Scott was a great public speaker. Yeah, he I was mean, like, Josh can explain it better. No, you did a heck of a job right there. Scott is way better. You did a heck of a job right there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no. Thank you. Um, but I, I think also just to, to, to um, kind of uh, expand upon that slightly, I, I just think what's amazing about what Skylar just said is that Scenarios USA really, I think, has redefined the educational film you know, for the 21st century. You know, I remember growing up and seeing all these these films that were made by clearly made by adults trying to figure out how the teens talk, right. you know, what the yeah. teens are interested in, you know. Like, and Hello, my name is John. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Drugs are bad, yeah, yes. Right. I mean, you know, and you're like, oh, right. You know, it feels like you're, you're getting, uh, you know, kind of messages, uh, public service announcements, as opposed to hearing from the voices of the actual people growing up in, in this world today. So I think that's, 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 that's what's really cool about it. Mm -hmm. So they do, you know, so when they create a curriculum around um, Skyler's film and the other films they make in this each, you know, each two-year cycle, uh, it, it's taught in schools around the country. Uh, and, and, and of course, Showtime, um, oh. our, our partner actually uh, decided to uh, make a deal with Scenarios a few years ago. So they, they basically show our film probably four or five times a month on, awesome. on the Showtime network. So it's, it's, awesome. it's great. I, it's, my DVR is set for it and it's like it's always <laughs> coming up because uh, we're, we're a good length. We're 15 minutes. So, you know, if they need to fill out a two hour time slot and the movie's, on, you know, an hour they 45, you know, they right. throw in House Not Home. So it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's been fun. So we're seeing obviously even in Hollywood now so much awareness. Laverne Cox, who I know very, very well, who's one of the sweetest people on the planet. Mm -hmm. She's great, I know. Laverne's the Amazing. best. But, did, you, but, did you meet her at the... Yeah, yeah. 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 Skylar yeah. actually met Laverne. She's at the, the best. The, was it the Day of Remembrance? or? Where oh, was it? no. Where um, was that? God, I'm sorry. One of those events. I forget, but there was some event where she was speaking at... Um, oh, my God, I'm going to forget the college now. Um, Case Western Reserve. She had um, spoken, and I was part of the group that was able to um, meet her in the GSA space. They had these um, circle of chairs, and there was food and stuff, and we were able to do a and a with her. And um, God, that was a really great experience. She was so friendly and open, and um, talked really seriously to us. And it was it was a great experience. I was really thankful to be able to meet her. Well, congratulations on the film, guys. Like I said, really important topic. Very, very of the moment topic right now. And mm -hmm. it's great to see you using your voice for good. And hopefully you can be like Laverne down the road and inspire and be part of that round table as well and be sharing so. it. So yeah, congratulations on everything. And already is. Congratulations. <laughs>